Hello everybody, this is John with Alarm Lock and Napco Technical Support in this brief video tech tip. I will be discussing um, the Alarm Lock uh, DTM uh, or the ALPCI2-U uh, which is the cable that is a USB plug into the computer and has the all-in-one cable uh, with the banana plug on the opposite end. Uh, so again, this is for the part number ALPCI2-U and also in regards to the DTM. Uh, so if you have any programming issues with the DTM or you're getting any communication failures uh, here in the DTM screen when you're trying to program to your DTM, uh, or if you're getting uh, slow packets that are downloading to the DTM, uh, this is one uh, reason to check the driver that you have installed for the ALPCI 2-U. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you that. And this also will pertain to um, any locks that you're trying to download to as well, just to ensure that you do have the latest version of the driver. Uh, I've seen some Windows operating systems. I don't know, they, they may install some other type of driver that overwrites the, um, the existing one that you have. So again, in this video, I'm going to show you how to locate that uh, very quickly. So if you have any, any of those um, symptoms there, uh, like I said, if you're having some slow uh, packet downloading, uh, or if you have any immediate communication failure to your DTM. Uh, so the first things that you want to check here when you're doing any downloads is to just go to tools and make sure that this set security password is grayed out. So that would be step one on, you know, on your accounts. Make sure that that's um, grayed out. If not, uh, if this is just a password uh, that, that's um, inside the, the DL Windows software. So nothing too much that you need to remember. You could even just put, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six as the password and just set it. But just make sure any of your accounts here, if you have more than one, uh, make sure that they are grayed out. Like say this one isn't. So you can simply click on it and type in, you know, I just type in one, two, three, four, five, six, and press OK. So that will be step one to check. And then the next thing is to go into your device manager. So on your computer, if you click on the search, you can just type in device manager and you can open up this. And if you select here on the ports, you'll see here, this is the Silicon Labs, the USB to UART bridge. If we right click this and go into properties, uh, we will select driver. So this is the correct driver version, 6.7.3.350. Uh, we've seen cases where there was like a, any, any other version other than this specific version, uh, you would actually need to uninstall it and then I'll show you how to reinstall it. So if you have any other version other than this 6.7.3.350, on the bottom here, you're gonna click uninstall device. So this is while the USB device is plugged in. So you would hit uninstall and you would check this box here where it says delete the driver software for this device. And then you would hit uninstall. And then I'd unplug the, the USB from the PC. So now we need to go to the technical support website and we'll go underneath the software downloads and we'll click on alarm lock and we can filter here to trilogy accessories and we're going to see the top one here I'm going to download this okay. open up my folder here where it's downloaded to we'll need to extract the files all. You can show the extracted files needed. Okay, so these are the latest drivers. So depending upon your operating system, if it's a 64-bit or 32-bit, so I have a 64-bit here, so I'm going to double-click and install the driver. And again, the USB is unplugged. And then we'll press finish. Go back to the device manager, and then I'm going to plug in the serial. And as you see here, it will come up again underneath the same uh, ports. And you click on properties, go into driver. And as you see now, this is the same, it's the latest version, 6.7.3.350, but this is what you would expect to see when you did an uninstalled device and checking off that box to remove any other older drivers and then with us reinstalling it again this will be the latest driver 
for the ALPCI 2-U along with connections to your USB device. Uh, so now uh, in the DL windows at this point, I do suggest to uh, run another uh, COM port and setup test. So we'll do a test here and we'll see that there and then make sure you hit set. And I always like to just relaunch the, the DL window software because we did do a driver change within it. So I like to just shut it down and then just re, um, you know, reopen the software. Go into tools, import setup and test. Just make sure we got success. There, we'll hit set. And then at this point, you should be able to try downloading to your DTM, or if you're downloading directly to the lock, uh, you can go ahead and retry that, and hopefully that'll work for you now. Again, this is uh, John with the Long Lock and Apple Tech Support. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful on how to uh, ensure that you have the correct driver version for your ALPCI 2-U and any DTM uh, issues you might have. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.